Had you asked me just seven days ago if you should be using ChatGPT to help you create titles on YouTube, create scripts for YouTube, and do anything else on YouTube, I would have told you absolutely not. But now, major breakthroughs have occurred that will literally allow ChatGPT to scrape your YouTube competitors for you and tell you exactly what length you should be creating your content, what titles you should be using, and ChatGPT has gotten insanely good at making scripts for videos. And by the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly how to have ChatGPT make the titles for you, do the scripts for you, and several other things. First thing that you need to do is you need to come down and you need to actually add this script, which I included in the description of this video below. Now, what this script is going to do, it's going to get ChatGPT to do a bunch of things. First, you're going to outline the goal that it gives ChatGPT, then the actions that you want it to take. And essentially what it's going to do, it's going to tell you the best topics to create content on, the best titles to be using, and so much more based off of exactly what your competitors are doing. So what you're going to do, you're going to take this, you're going to copy it, paste it here into ChatGPT. Ideally, you should be using GPT-4 because it's going to give you better results. So we're going to type that in here and then ChatGPT is going to tell us some information back and it's going to want some stuff for us. So it says, of course, let's begin. Firstly, could you please specify the niche? Sure. So from there, I'm going to pull up one of my competitors. We're going to use vidIQ for this video. Essentially, what I'm going to do is go to vidIQ. I'm going to come here under shorts. And from here, I just want to drag and copy all of this. Now, you can't do all of the videos, but ideally, you want to get a good subset of videos, right? So there are some videos in here that have done incredibly well. From here, ChatGPT has set back. Great. This is a popular and evergreen niche. I copy this. I paste it into here. And look at what ChatGPT is about to do. So first and foremost, this is going to take a few seconds for ChatGPT to actually go through this. But essentially, it's going to be telling me the top three most viewed videos, the correlation between video length and performance. Unfortunately, because we did this with shorts, it's not going to be able to show us that. But if we did this for long form content, which you can do, it would have literally told us the perfect video length and the perfect performance. It's going to be telling us patterns within titles, suggested topics based on patterns. And guess what? It's going to give so much more. And we're going to be able to then prompt it and ask it what words constantly show up in titles or what it thinks the top top three topics that we should create right now are and so much more. Let's just wait until this finishes. Now what we have here is scores. So based on the views, the amount of times that it shows up and the recency, it gives me three things that they strongly suggest I do. The first one is did Mr. Beast just change YouTube forever? Now I think that that's good because Mr. Beast is huge. It's also about YouTube and YouTube growth. So ChatGPT essentially knows that I should be combining two niches together, which is why it gave me that and it's going to give me a ton of views. So essentially they just give me a roadmap that can resonate with my audience. Now what I just showed you is truly a game changer, but it only scratches the surface of what we're able to do. The next two things I'm about to share with you are literally going to blow your mind. But first, we need to thank today's video sponsor, HubSpot. They just released a brand new guide to using ChatGPT for work, and it's going to make your content creation process a hundred times easier, and I strongly suggest that you check it out. If you want to spend less time creating content and more time doing what you actually love, then please go to the pinned comment below and download it right now. It's literally 100% free. It's going to give you tons of different tips about how you can use ChatGPT to automate your workflow. On top of that, it gives a hundred actionable prompts that you could begin using today. And even if you don't feel like you truly know how to use ChatGPT to its full potential, I strongly suggest you check it out because it has a great comprehensive guide on exactly how you can use ChatGPT to make your life a hundred times easier. By far, my favorite section is those hundred actionable prompts. Just like the one that I just gave you, they have a hundred of them that are going to make your life so much easier. If you're a content creator that's trying to reach as many people as possible, but you struggle with what content to actually be creating, I strongly suggest you go to the pin comment below and download it right now. Again, it's literally 100% free. So having the right topic for your content and the right title is just scratching the surface of what we can do with ChatGPT. The second thing that we could do is get us to give us the exact length in which we should be creating content and it's going to be topic specific because remember, how long your video should actually be is going to depend on what the topic of the video is. So there are actually going to be two ways for you to be able to do this, and it's going to be different depending on whether you're creating long form content or short form content. If you're doing long form content, you can literally go with what we just told ChatGPT, except you're going to tell it that we're going to give it some new information. What you're going to want to do, you're going to want to come down here and say, let's do this again for a new 
competitor. And from here, it's gonna say, okay, we're gonna be ready to go. In the meantime, in the back end, I'm gonna be pulling up another competitor. For example, this time we use Think Media. And since this is for long form, what I'm gonna do is the same exact process that I did last time. But remember, long form content has the actual length of the piece of content over the thumbnail, which is why ChatGPT is now gonna be able to do this with long form content and give us the exact length. So I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna paste this. Boom. We're gonna wait for ChatGPT to load. And as you can see here, it pulled in a few different things. It also pulled in the length and it also pulled in how long ago the video was actually uploaded. So from here, it's gonna go through, it's gonna do its analysis again. And then I can ask it the exact length in which it thinks I should be creating videos for a certain topic. Okay, so now that it's done, it's gone through, it's analyzed everything. I'm gonna ask it a few questions. Like what length should I make my video? If I use, we're gonna copy and paste this as a title. Please base it off of the past data I've sent. And from here, it should spit out exactly how long I should be creating the video. For example, it's going to tell you exactly what I just told you, literally. To determine the octopo length, let's analyze the length of videos provided from the data above. So here, it's literally going to go, it's going to look at all the other videos, what their lengths were, and from here, it tells me that I should make the video eight to 10 minutes, and that's exactly what I would have recommended if I looked at this whole entire page manually and saw how long their videos were. But you might not have been able to see that because some of their videos are five Five minutes long. Some of their videos are shorter, like two minutes long, and some of their videos are incredibly long, like this one that's 12 minutes, 13 minutes, or even 11 minutes, but it was able to hone in on the fact that I was talking about AI, like this video right here, which got 72,000 views, and it told me the optimal length to actually create the content. Now, if you're going to try to do this with short form content, you're going to have to fill in that length data manually. The way that you're going to do that, you're going to come over to your competitor shorts. Let's say we were doing this with their channel. We're going to click on this. And Instead of it saying shorts up here, we need to change this to say watch, and this is then going to give us the length. We're gonna to have to copy and paste that manually, put that into the data, and then ChatGPT will be able to do the same exact thing for shorts content and tell you the exact length that you should be creating your content based off of what's already working within your niche for other channels right now based off of real data. So at this point, we've gotten ChatGPT to tell us exactly how long the video we're gonna create should be. We also got it to tell us the perfect title and the perfect topic, but we can have all of that, but with the wrong video script, we're never gonna get views on YouTube. So now I'm gonna share with you exactly how to get ChatGPT to make you the perfect script based off of either your own videos that have done really well or your competitors' videos that have crushed it. A massive mistake that I see way too many creators make when they try to use ChatGPT is it will literally just ask ChatGPT to write them a script and it is not the right way to go about it. For example, if we were going to create a video off of this title that we used right here, the mistake that a lot of you would make is literally just say, write me a script for, and then give them the title and say, it should be eight minutes long. And from here, ChatGPT is going to write you a script, but it's not going to be an optimized script for YouTube because it's not gonna be based off of what has actually worked. We've done all of this so far based off of what actually works on YouTube and what is working within our niche. So now if we ask ChatGPT to do some random thing like this, it's not going to do anywhere near as well. Instead, what you should be doing is you should actually be doing a search on YouTube for this exact title to see what other videos come up. And then from there, you wanna make sure that you're creating content that is actually better than these videos that are showing up and you want to keep these videos that are showing up in mind. So here's exactly how I would do it. I would click on one of these videos here, the number one video that shows up. From here, I would copy this. I'd go back to YouTube transcript.com and from here we're going to paste this in it's going to give us the entire transcript and then from here we can copy and paste it and we can put it in a note we could put it in a word document and from there you can break out each part of the video for example you could break out what the hook is you could break out what all the tools are that they mentioned you can break out the stories that they use and you can also break out all the different transition phrases and transition sentences and from there that is how you should actually be crafting your hook so instead of just telling ChatGPT 
GPT to write the whole entire script like we did here. Instead, what you should be doing, because look, this video is going to be eight minutes long. This isn't long at all. I mean, it literally just gave you a bunch of different tools that you can use, which are great. You can use those tools, but it didn't actually tell you what the hook should be, what the story should be, or what the ending or transition phrases are. And to be quite frank, if your videos don't have that, it's going to destroy the amount of views that you get. So instead, we're going to take this hook right here. YouTube just got easier. You guessed it with this new update. YouTube really some new ad tools that are designed to help create every production process. So instead, you can say, my competitor's hook is this. You're going to want to put it in parentheses, say this. How can you make it better? Please make sure it's the same length, but it should make the viewer want to watch the video more than this script does. So then from here, it's going to actually build us out a perfect hook because it's going to look at exactly what this is and then it's going to say here's a refined hook maintaining the approximate length so it says something along the lines of unlocking youtube's potential it just became a breeze that's right with this latest game changing update youtube is unleashing a revolutionary ai tools crafted to elevate every phase of your content journey it literally just took what they use and made it even better so that people are going to want to watch your content over theirs and now you just need to go through and do that for every part of the script because you need to understand if you want your YouTube videos to actually do well, you need to make sure that they have a format to their script. There needs to be a clear hook. There needs to be clear transition phrases and there need to be stories or the actual meat of the piece of content. And ChatGPT can help you do all of that way better by simply taking what's already out there and make it better. You need to remember the iPhone wasn't the first smartphone. Instead, they took all the things that were great about the smartphone that came before it and made it even better. And it's the same thing with everything in this world. Simply all the consumer wants is something that's better than what they currently have and I just taught you how to do that with ChatGPT. Now I will warn you, you can do everything right that I've shared with you in this video, but if you're uploading your content the wrong way, it's going to kill the amount of views that you're getting. Lucky for you, I just created this video right here that tells you the exact way to upload your content to maximize the amount of views that you're getting. What are you waiting for? I'll see you over there.